vasectomy gone wrong. So it was 25 years ago. 25 years ago? No, I was 25. <laughs> now I'm 46. So it was 21 years ago. Math for you. And before the days of the internet, so research wasn't really as readily available in Cyclopedia Britannica or what have you. So I opted for the health of my family, for the well-being of my wife at the time, to have a vasectomy. Um, it just made sense. I was exceptionally young. I was 25 years old. Um, but it wasn't in our best interest um, to flirt with having another pregnancy as uh, the one that we got to celebrate together uh, was very, very difficult on her. And it was just way too risky to, to do it again. So it was snip snip time. What I heard, scalpelless procedure. That's exciting. Are they going to use lasers? I don't even remember, think, I have no idea. Were, were there stitches involved? Permanently shut that out of the memory equation. But I'm signed up. I'm signed in. I'm ready to go. Initial consultation. The doctor was like, you're only 25, son. Are you sure? And I was like... The sun is shining bright, and he's exceptionally sure. Let's do this. Had our child early. Got married early. Not in that order. Married early, then child. Whatever. It's time to do this. So, flashing forward to the day of. Hyped, ready to go. Really no information except scalpelless. Quick healing, two weeks. Good to golden. All right, local anesthetic. So I'm not getting knocked out. Still haven't been to this day, thank goodness. I'm not ready to sign up for that by any means. Uh, for any means. <laughs> so they do the local. I'm on my back, laying on this table. And it's just a nurse to the left, doctor to the right. Here we go. So there's some type of cauterizing Tool. I think I'm saying that right. Cauterizing, yes. And I see wafts of smoke coming out from the nether regions. It's not normal for really anybody or any time. And that's alarming. But, you know, everyone's just like, business is normal. They're moving, they're grooving, they're in their doctoral flow of things. And I'm like, oh, I'm feeling good. Doc's looking confident. Nurse is just nursing. And... You know, another dzz, dzz, a waft of smoke. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Is it okay? It's down there. Nothing's okay down there. But it's happening. And then he does one of his little dzz, dzz. You can't really see what's happening. But the nurse does this. She goes... So she inhales. If any of you are listening and not watching this video. She inhales... Eyes widen, eyebrows elevate, and she takes a very noticeable step back from the table as if something has happened. And I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Doctor pulls his hands back. He's like, what's wrong? You okay? You feeling pain? And I'm like, no, 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 no. What was that? And he's like, what was what? And I'm like, she, hmm, ah, you just made a face. She's like, I did nothing of the sort. Liar! She totally did. She took a visible step back from the table. Flow was happening. Flow was happening. Everything was fine except the smoke. But to them it was fine. But something happened and she was repulsed or frightened. Something denied it. And he's like, are we okay here? And I'm like, we are not okay here. Hmm. Looking at her. She's looking at me. She's like, mm, mm, mm. No, your honor. I swear, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And he's like, can we proceed? And I'm like, no, okay. Shit. So she steps back to the table. He continues, sews it up. He's like, okay, we're all right here. Everyone fine, everyone fine. Looking at her, she's looking at me like, 
I did something wrong. Urgh. So, good to go. I'm walking out, paying my bill, insurance covers, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Flash forward again. There's a two-week healing period where you're not supposed to engage in any sexual activity or anything um, too rigorous down there. Ice, if there's any swelling, yada, yada, blah, 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 blah. So the two-week period has expired, and a married man looked to the wife, and I'm like, hey, I think it's time maybe we should, you know, see how things are going, what's happening down there. Nothing crazy, maybe just a little, we'll call it, you know, for respect and lack of, I mean, you know, risk of getting, excuse me, too graphic here, you know, like hand situation thing, little assistance, you know, intimate time. She's like, sure. So we're doing the thing. And never in my life, not once, not up until that point, not since then, have I ever had such a synchronistic release with anything or anyone at any time. The buzzer to the dryer goes off, and as this happens, I'm sorry, I had to pause it there. I thought the mailman was at the front door. He didn't need to hear this story, not quite yet. At the volume that I was sharing anyway so uh, <laughs> boom like a rocket ship never before invented with the strength never before witnessed on planet anywhere i sh shoot some things that go over the shoulder of my ex-wife with a speed she i nor think any cheat on the planet could accomplish and she kind of matrix it moves out of the way time slows down it's strength it's volume it's steam it's so magnificent but to her i'm like whoa her face is not nearly the same as i met with you need to call the doctor and i'm like i need to do the what what and I'm like, I need to call my friends. <laughs> this is spectacular. She's like, this is an atrocity and an abomination. Call the doctor. I will do nothing of the sorts. This is great. And I'm like, I just figured out why the nurse retracted from the table. Why she was in such horror. I misdiagnosed the whole situation. It wasn't a vasectomy gone wrong. It was a vasectomy upgrade that I didn't have to pay for. She was just like, oh, doc, you're giving him the turbo upgrade? He didn't pay for that. So when she went like this, she was probably familiar with the paperwork that he was not. And I got the Super Supreme Jet Propulsion upgrade for zero dollars. So I'm doing the cabbage patch. I'm doing the touchdown dance around the room. She looks mortified. Like this cannot be the new normal in our life. Because um, he basically just spelled his name in cursive. Not initials, but the whole John Vincent Pepe uh, on the wall right behind me with precision, with depth. There's a dent in the wall, folks. Life is grand. Who would have thought that sacrifice, making that grand sacrifice would yield such reward? Call the doctor. Final call the doctor. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, doc. Yeah. No, 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 no problems. Nope. Swelling's gone. Quick question. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, but kind of cool. Um, we just did a thing. Yeah, yeah, it went great. Actually, it went beyond great. It went epically, fantastically, world record breakingly stellar. Okay? Hit the stars, man. What? I'm sorry. Say it again. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. Minus the poetry. Doc, I just sh released my, you know, stuff and 
it was powerful beyond measure. He's like, he's laughing. <laughs> what? I'm just going to put you on speaker here. Nurse, I forgot her name. You know, the, the retractor is here. And he's like, so she must have told him, you know, like, hey, doc, you gave him the upgrade. And he didn't try. He didn't know. He didn't know he was getting the, the, the penile implant uh, erectional release foundational buster concrete propulsion system. <laughs> so there, the, the, I hear laughter and I'm like, I'm like, right, right. Is that's does this happen like one in a million? Is it not really an upgrade? I, am I just like one of the lucky few where the way it heals, the muscle just gets stronger, things get more? And and the, as the laughter stops, he's like, John, 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 just so you know, um, this is normal. And I'm like, okay, no one told me. Again, the internet wasn't there. I didn't know. Like sometimes when you get a vasectomy, blah, blah, blah. And he cuts me off again. It's like, John, 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 I hate to quell your enthusiasm and your your new vivacious um, appreciation for life and all the forces inside of you however probably in about a week or two the swelling that you're not feeling but is, is still essentially there will um, subside and and that um, uh, strength behind your um, you know your ejaculatory uh, uh, release system uh, will begin, eventually begin to um, return to its normal stasis. And he, instantly when he said that, he was met on speakerphone with, no! Like when Darth Vader realizes Padme dies, says, no! The room's shaking. My apartment complex is shaking. I start to hear my ex-wife laugh in the other room, so there's laughter, there's laughter, there's tears, it's the vasectomy gone wrong in all the worst possible. It works very well today, just for the record, and um, if anyone out there is thinking about getting vasectomy for the sake of the health, the wealth, the prosperity of your family, and uh, everyone involved in the grand equation of, you know, doing the best thing, the right thing, for all parties concerned. Um, uh, I'm definitely an advocate to let you know that 20 years later, I still have no problems, no uh, secondary things. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's just my story of the vasectomy gone wrong that was for just a few seconds, for just a, a snippet of time, one of the most wonderful vasectomies ever performed on Earth. But I hope you've enjoyed today's story time. Join us next time, folks, when I talk about Shaquille O'Neal and urinals. <laughs>